Welcome to part 2 of this Affinity Photo tutorial about making glitter textures or and metallic textures. Um, we're going to continue making some more glitter textures, this time using a slightly different method. Now, in the first part of the video, um, video I forgot to mention that it was an adaptation of a Photoshop tutorial which I saw by a company called Elan Creative Co. And these ones are another adaptation of an Elan Creative Co. Photoshop tutorial. I couldn't follow them exactly because certain things you can find in Photoshop are not in Affinity Photo. Things like certain filters and things like that. So I've had to adapt my way around them. So I'm getting on with these next set of glitter textures. I'm going to start a new file and like before it's going to be 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels and then just click OK. And then I'm going to draw a square white rectangle over that area and then I'm going to come up to filters, noise, add noise. And for this one, I'm going to raise this up to 25%. Or thereabouts, let's say 25%. Uh, I'm going to leave it on uniform and I'm going to have monochrome ticked. So I'm going to click apply. You can't really see that so much there but we'll then move on to filters, distort and um, pixelate. And this I'm going to increase to 40 easier to type this in so I'm going to type in 40 and then apply and you can see this has already started to pixelate that noise that we added earlier so now what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer so I'll just right click and come down to duplicate or you can do control and J or command and J if you're on a Mac and I'm going to change the blending mode of this from normal to multiply. And this will sort of darken up those pixels, but what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this layer. So we're going to come to arrange, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And then we're going to duplicate this layer and then again it's already set up with the multiply blend mode but we're going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise so you have all sorts of different pixels um, all overlaying each other so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click this top layer and I'm going to click on merge visible so all those three layers are now merged into this one layer here and then I'm going to duplicate this merged layer so I now have these four layers below this top layer and what I'm going to I'm just going to hide all of these three below so I'm just working on this top merge layer and just so I don't get confused I'm going to rename this one merged one so I know that that is the first layer that I merged because I'll be coming back to that one a bit later right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a layer above this top merge layer 
just by clicking on this add pixel layer and I'm going to flood fill this with 50% grey I mean any grey will do but so I'm going to click the flood fill tool come to the swatches and 50% grey is this one in between the white and black so I just click on that that will make grey the foreground colour so I can just click in that area and flood fill that with 50% grey so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the blend mode of this to colour burn and we're starting to get a sort of silvery type glitter look to this now I did try doing a silver look on the first versions that I made in the first video but they didn't really come out that well so I didn't make any silver versions of those but I am going to make silver versions of these later glitter ones um, but what I need to do now is to add a brightness and contrast adjustment so I'll just click on the adjustment icon here and I'm going to do minus on the brightness I'm going to come down to about 50 55 percent 56 that's close enough and I'm going to raise the contrast up to around about the same sort of area 50 55 54 that's close enough and I'll just shut that down so I'm now going to export this as my first glitter texture in this video so come to file export make sure I'm on JPEG 100% qu uh, quality export and then I'm just going to rename that number five all right so what I want to do now is I'm going to hide that layer and hide the gray layer highlight the second merged layer and I'm going to add another pixel layer above that and I'm going to again I'm going to flood fill this but this time with a yellowy color and I'll just double click on that and the color I'm going to go for is 67 in the red channel 65 in the green channel and zero in the blue channel and then flood fill that with that color and again I'm going to change the blending mode to color burn and then again I'm going to add an adjustment of brightness and contrast and again I'm going to lower the brightness down to around the 50 point and bring the contrast up to around the 50 mark and now I'm going to save this as my next glitter texture so file export that's number six so so far I have two versions of that same glitter texture both silver and in gold right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all the layers go there, and come to that first merged one that I made before and make that one visible and I'm going to come to filters colors embossed and I'm gonna make the settings I'll see easy to type this in I'm gonna make the radius 40 the amount 500 
and the angle I'm going to make it 180 and like I said in the first video you don't have to stick to my settings for colors or any of these you can make your own textures get your own effects it doesn't have to be like my one and once I've done that I'm going to click apply and I'm just going to reduce the opacity of this down to about 40% like so so now I'm going to make visible the first pixel layer merge pixel layer above that one and I'm going to change the blending mode of that to overlay and then I'm going to bring back the gold color and the brightness adjustment for that layer that I made earlier and then save that one I'm going to export that and this one will be number seven and then when I come back to this I will hide the gold and the adjustment layer and make visible the silvery and the adjustment layer for that one and then save this one so export and this will be number eight So as you can see from the same sort of file, we're making various different types of textures depending on um, how you use the filters and or blending modes. Right, so I'll just pause that there while I check my notes for the next part, so I'll be back in a second. This next one is a slight variation on what I did before. It starts out the same way, so we'll start with our new document. And we're going to flood fill, I mean draw a box I should say, but this time we're going to draw it in a colour that is that gold colour that we had before, so it's 67, 65 and zero so we've got that gold color to start with and then we come to filters add noise and I'm going to leave this at 25% uniform and monochromatic then we're going to come to the filters distort pixelate I, don't think it, I must have missed an area to pixelate and again I'm going to make this 40 and what I'm going to do now is duplicate this layer but not to make this multiply blend mode this time, I'm going to make this a screen blend mode and arrange and rotate it clockwise by 90 degrees and then I'm going to duplicate this layer change the blend mode this time to color dodge and rotate it by 90 degrees clockwise and then I'm going to export this file so we've got number nine 
I'm then going to add the adjustment of the brightness and contrast and this time I'm going to sort of do minus 30 with the brightness roughly as 29 and minus 30, uh, plus 30 with the contrast and then I'm going to save this version so let's export and this will be number 10 no it's just a case of if I hide that uh, brightness contrast adjustment I just need to add a black and white adjustment layer to this pixel this top pixel layer so if I come to the adjustment icon and do black and white I'm not going to change any settings you can do if you want but I'm going to leave it as exactly as it is and then I'm going to export that one to give me a sort of silvery glitter so this will be number 11 and then I'm going to turn back on this brightness and contrast and then I'm going to save that version I'll export it and that will be number 12 Right, so that is all the glitter type um, textures I'm going to make in these first two videos and in part three I'm going to make a few metallic um, te um, textures and save them and then show you how to make styles out of all of the textures that we have made so thank you for watching this and goodbye.